What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Get this. Alexander Usyk's side done for the Tyson Fury fight in 2023. Alexander Usyk's manager, Igus Klima, says they're done on their end in the negotiations for a fight against the WBC heavyweight champion, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Wow. Now they're just waiting for the Moody Fury, which is 32-0, and one draw, and 23 KOs, who the IBF, WBA, and WBO champion Usyk refers to as Baracho the Drunkard. <laughs> if Fury makes a mess of the negotiations with Usyk similar to how he wrecked his talks with Anthony Joshua, we won't get an undisputed clash early next year. Usyk wants to fight with Fury, but he's obviously got a backup plan in case the negotiations go in flames. Deontay Wilder and Canelo Alvarez are two appealing options for the 2012 Golden Olympian. Usyk, if he can set up a fight, if he can't set up a fight with Fury, Deontay Wilder is highly interested in a fight with Usyk, but it's unclear whether Canelo feels the same way. And he said, state, uh, everything is done from our side, everything. So it's only one guy who can say, yes, we're going. That's Fury, said Igus Klimas to seconds out about Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Then we're going to go and unify titles with Chisora and Klimas when, when asked what if happens if Derek Chisora upsets uh, Tyson Fury on December 3rd and let me counterpunch. Listen, this is exactly what I want to hear. This is what I like to hear. People getting shit done. Okay. Uh, fights are made by effort. Fights, relationships, uh, negotiations, they're all made by effort. When you no longer want to put up the effort, you're showing that you don't want whatever you uh, want or, or claim you achieve. You don't want it that bad if the effort's not there. Okay, that's at anything. On Usyk's uh, side, they're showing you they want that fight. Okay, they want that fight. They're ready for Tyson Fury. It's up to Tyson Fury to be ready for Alexander Usyk. It's a couple months off. I get it. Okay, whatever. Tyson gets his tune-up fight. Alexander Usyk gets to recover from his last fight that he recently had with Anthony Joshua in the rematch. Okay, so it's all up to Tyson Fury. So if we don't hear anything from Tyson Fury, if he goes and does some bipolar shit, that says, you know what, I don't want to fight the middleweight, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, I want to fight someone else, I want to fight Manuel Char now, or I want to fight whoever else besides Alexander Usyk, we know that Tyson Fury's ducked because there's no other place to go. If every possible thing is done, signed, sealed, delivered, they're finished, on their end, they're waiting for Tyson Fury, it's all up to Tyson Fury. He calls all the shots, he has all the power at this point. Okay? It's time for him to make a move to do exactly what Alexander Usyk's team has done. Okay, so we're waiting to hear confirmation. Now, I like how they answered every question. They crossed every T. They dotted every I. Well, what if Derek Chisora upsets Tyson Fury? Well, he'll fight Derek Chisora again. <laughs> right? Because he's already fought and beat Derek Chisora. But Derek Chisora will then be the current WBC heavyweight champion, which would be marvelous. It would be marvelous. It would be humbling for Tyson Fury. We would see how he reacts in these type of fights. We will see if he has the same energy winning or losing that he had winning. You know, we will see. Uh, we will learn a lot about the former at that time, if that happens, WBC heavyweight champion. We'll learn a lot about him. And if he doesn't fight Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder is in the mix. So look, if that doesn't happen, Usyk has options. You know what I mean? So an Usyk-Wilder fight <clears throat> is a very big fight as well. You know what I mean? Is it the preferred fight? No. We want to see Usyk, Fury, Fury, Usyk. We want to see Joshua, Wilder, Wilder, Joshua. That was, those are the fights we want to see. That's what I want to see personally. That's my opinion. You know, you guys might have another opinion or whatever, but at the end of the day, I think uh, the Tyson Fury and Usyk fight should happen, and I don't want to hear, and there shouldn't be any more uh, excuses. 
You know, because last year around this time, Tyson wanted what? He wanted a tune-up fight. Okay. You know what I mean? Almost a year ago, rather. He wanted a tune-up fight at the beginning of this year. He wanted a tune-up fight for Usyk. So this is his tune-up fight. Derek Chisora got it. He's beat twice. You can't call it anything else. A tune-up. So he has that tune-up. So he has that rust off of him since April. So there's no excuses. There's no way around any of this now. You can't renege and say this, that, and the other. But then again, we're talking about Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. We don't know what he's going to do. But he, you know, of course, calls all the shots. And I think... Then I uh, I feel that this fight is closer to being made, but it also demonstrates a sense of effort in showing that, hey, at least one side is down and ready to throw down. You guys tell me what you think about Team Usyk signed, sealed, delivered to take on the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.